Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. We'll have every kick of the ball for you live on EA TV. Hello, it's great to be with you, and no problems at all on the weather front as we get ready for this match. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And it's first time around for these two countries in the group stage here at the 2023 World Cup. It's the Netherlands up against Portugal. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. Here's the starting 11 for the Netherlands. Well, when you play in a 3-5-2 formation, the position of the wing-backs is key. If they drop too deep, you can't dominate possession. And if they play too high, you leave the centre-backs exposed. They have to get the balance right. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. And the contest begins. Not on. Martins. There's a slide rule pass. Just needs to stay calm. And the keeper was up to the task. Knocked on. Oh, great vision. Offside by a fraction. Victoria Pelova. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Pinto. Andrea Norton. Well, that ball looks promising. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Grunen. And possession given away. Well, visionary passing. An early goal. It is the ideal opening. Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. But in the end, it's far too easy to create the 2v1 against the keeper. What were the defenders trying to do? Nice finish, but poor defensively. Excellent refereeing. Advantage in operation. 
giving the ball away good looking play as she tries to get them onto the front foot and getting across to stop it from a long way out determined defending what a genuine opportunity but it was squandered goal kick Tatiana Pinto Silva good effort here oh so close to extending the lead well that really would have put them in a commanding position but it's still all to play for here Spitz it. Victoria Pelova. Daniela van der Donk. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. And still they wait for the chance. Corner it is. And an opportunity for Portugal to make it look even better. good header but the goalkeeper there to cover up options in the middle well read to put an end to that attack chance here oh good save who can they pick out and the problem not completely solved Andrea Norton and with that the attack fizzles out now counter-attacking possibilities here oh in with a chance well it's offside she decided not to bend her run good looking ball there could be a chance now and able to close down the shot Pressing high, and they have the ball again. There's still danger here. Well, they can't quite take advantage in the end. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Oh, a save right out of the top drawer. Super stop. Over it comes. And a bit short with the clearance. It has to be. The crossbar got in the way. Threat over for now, it seems. Well, that would certainly have put them in a great position. But with only a one-goal lead, they're never going to be able to relax. Yes, a really open flow to the game. End-to-end -end stuff. Kika Nazareth. An important interception. Jackie Hronen. Now here's Martins. Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? There to take it away. Well, thumped clear. Now can they make something happen? Well, that's one for them to pursue. Oh, a superb chip! Spellbinding! Well, this is a brilliant finish. Great awareness, good technique, and a bit of composure as well. What an excellent goal that is. Back underway, level pegging, one goal apiece in this game.
Good tackle. It'll be a throw. What a game we've had so far. Goals at both ends, some near misses as well, and some good individual displays. You can't take your eyes off of this. Yes, sheer entertainment. That pretty much sums it up. So after that, a goal kick it'll be. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in this second half. Thumped clear. Well read to ease the pressure. Must take the lead here. And the flag does go up, must have been tight. So a personnel change then. Andrea Norton. And close but offside nonetheless. Sherry da Spitze. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Nazareth Pinto can they take advantage well it certainly wasn't easy but a bit wayward you'd have to say well she's just missed time that hasn't she didn't quite catch it how she would have wanted to and there's the result Felica Martins is it going to be and that is defending of the highest order can they hit on the break well, strong play here. Just the clearance that was called for. Well, the pass not finding its target. chance to do damage but they took care of the situation defensively and into the last 30 minutes now it is a decent looking attack here well, I don't think that effort remotely qualifies as respectable. And the reason it's off target, because the technique was really poor on that occasion. That's not a good effort. And very deftly cut out. Breaking at pace. Read it well. A wonderful intervention. Pinto. Carolina Menge. Well, as those stats tell us, the Netherlands have controlled much of the possession, but they haven't done enough with it, particularly in the midfield areas, where their passing has been far too safe. And that needs to change quickly if they're to win Oh, hang this one. on, Stuart, it's a chance. It's goalkeeping of the highest class. Well, that should be a goal, really, but what a wonderful save that was. Brilliant from the goalkeeper. She's just saved her team there. Well, it still could be dangerous. Just needs to get it out of there. Victoria Pelova. On to Van der Donk. Van der Donk. This attack looks highly promising. Could be. 
And the keeper getting across to stop it. And a substitution in the offing. And over comes the corner. Pinto. And given away. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. Promising sequence. And cuts inside. This might be ideal for the counter. Will they profit from this situation? It's a perfect challenge. On the attack, is there to be late excitement? Well, didn't go to play. Plan in the end. Tremendous intuition to win it back. And she's being egged on by the crowd. Can they convert? Oh, a goal! And is that going to be the one that wins it for them? There's every chance, and the fans are lapping this up. Well, just look at the defending here. They just don't read the danger. It's a poor goal to concede. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Andrea Jacinto. Another perfect position to read it. And attempting the through ball. Well, it all counts for naught. Van der Donk. Janssen. Silva Pinto on the attack in the closing phase real chance that could cost them at this late stage well that should have been the equaliser I'm not sure they'll get another chance now did well to win the ball back and a struggle to get it away properly terrific block there oh could be and there's the full-time whistle. A most acceptable outcome from a Netherlands point of view. They've won the game. Stuart, how about your assessment? Yes, Derek, sometimes it takes a while to eventually get the better of the opposition. And that was the case here. They kept going and they eventually got their reward.